What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. Here on the channel, we discuss all things audio and video, like new movies and new AV equipment. So if it's your first time here, consider tapping that subscribe button for new weekly videos. In for a review, we've got The Rise of Skywalker on 3D Blu-ray. I won't be reviewing the movie itself, I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie was shot on 35mm, it's got a 4K DI, it's rated PG-13, runtime is 142 minutes, aspect ratio is 239 by 1, therefore you will have those black letterbox bars. So I think the 4K version of this movie is actually really good looking. It's got a bright image, the HDR pops, and it's got some very good detail. Obviously the 3D version isn't going to have as much detail, but I don't think you'll miss it all that much. One thing that's really noticeable between the two is how much grain is visible on the 4K version. The extra resolution can resolve a lot better than standard 1080p. You can however notice grain on the 3D version if it's against an all white background. Most of the time though I had to go look for it. So if you are allergic to film grain then you'll probably like the way this movie looks. As for the 3D effect, it is a 2D to 3D conversion, meaning it wasn't shot in 3D. So they took the flat 2D image and made it 3D. I remember seeing this in 3D at the theater and thinking, it's not all that great. Luckily the Blu-ray isn't as flat looking as my local theater. Comparing this to The Force Awakens, which I think is a killer 3D disc, I think this one is a notch below that for dimensional depth. The Rise of Skywalker just doesn't reach as far inwards. That's not to say it's bad, because it's not. I just found The Force Awakens went deeper into my screen. Some notable scenes would be the Falcon lightspeed skipping in Chapter 6. There's some excellent separation here when they come at a light speed. You'll see those rock formations or those buildings coming outwards towards the screen while the Falcon is weaving in and out. It enhances the sensation of speed and it makes it feel like you're in one of those 3D rides at the amusement park. When Rey is meditating in Chapter 7, the leaves almost break the screen barrier and come towards you, and you'll see those big rocks floating in front of your face. There is another quick shot of Kylo sticking his hand out of the screen that almost breaks the screen barrier, and one more in Chapter 15 during the speeder bike chase. Of course, the third act, with all the aerial battles, is the most exciting part of this transfer. X-Wings fly between different layers, and Star Destroyers take on this huge visual scale. It's something you can't quite feel watching a flat 2D 4K image. As mentioned earlier, there isn't as much detail as the 4K version, and colors don't have the same pop or contrast levels, and shadow detail is better on 4K as well. Hi, bubble freak. Why, hello! Audio is in DTS HD 7.1, and if I were you, I would just take the audio from the 4K disc and remux it with the 3D video. Anyways, this is still a solid audio mix. I'm going to keep this short because I've heard the Atmos version and it's just a better experience. There's great lower channel activity as things fly in and out, and there's good ambiance within a big spacious soundstage. Bass response is just as good as the 4K version, and the musical score still sounded fantastic in 7.1. So for audio, I'm going to go with an 8. If the Atmos mix didn't exist, I'd definitely go higher. It just sounds the way you want a Star Wars movie to sound, and that's a good thing. For 3D video, I'm going to go with an 8.3. It's a solid 3D transfer, but I thought it didn't have as much depth as The Force Awakens. If you want to see a movie with a crazy 3D effect, then pop in Thor Ragnarok. It makes this one look kind of 2D. Anyways, this movie did look better than what I saw at my local theater. I like how 3D can bring greater scale to the visuals. There's a few almost pop out of the screen moments, and there's enough layer separation to not lose that three-dimensional effect as the movie goes on. It doesn't have the same detail or color as the 4K version, but I think the 3D more than makes up for it. So the question is, should you import the 3D or stick with 4K? For me, I think the Atmos track makes the 4K the better way to watch this. Or like I mentioned earlier, just mix the 4K audio and the 3D visuals together, and I think that would be the best way to watch it. For 3D fans though, this movie's a no-brainer. Just pick it up. So tell us your thoughts on this 3D transfer. Did you guys import it? And how do you think it stacks up against the best 3D Blu-rays out there? Leave a comment and let us know. Now if you guys want to pick up any movies I've mentioned in this video, I'll leave some links for them in the video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media. And if you want to support the channel and get exclusive updates, great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys again in the next one.